Welcome to Relaxations with Riffling. This is going to be a slower, calmer kind of groove into the home for part of Smooth Stream. Thanks again to our awesome host for providing it this weekend. And I'm definitely looking forward to the rest of the day and sharing some of what I've learned with you guys. So to get started, we're going to be doing relaxation and it's going to be drawing on yoga. I am honored to be already in a yoga teacher training, which is continuing virtually. In these tough times, we are doing a virtual yoga teacher training, and I'm going to be using some of the skills that I'm beginning to pick up. You may have had yoga with me in the past. I've done it in multiple different ways, both at Brony Cons, Furry Cons, and a Steven Universe Con, so there are lots of opportunities to cosplay. I'm wearing my brass knuckles outfit here. got a little bit of rainbow going on. And honestly, you can do whatever you want. You can wear whatever is comfortable. The idea, we're gonna do some gentle stretching, some breathing, and a little bit of movement. But when we do this, you have to make sure that it is what your body is telling you. So this is gonna be time to slow down, listen to yourself, don't do anything that hurts. If you don't feel like doing something, if it's not comfortable, or if you just can't do that today, that's perfectly fine. Throughout this relaxation, I welcome you to return to your seat or lay down and focus on your breathing. And we're going to do some breathing exercises that will help keep you centered as we go through the next 40 to 45 minutes. For what you're going to need today, um, you're going to need something like a belt, a strap, or a towel. This is literally just a belt that I, um, I took off a pair of pants and I've been using it to hold my yoga mat. So it's a fabric one. You could use leather. It doesn't have to be stretchy. It can be a towel. It can be a hoodie. Be a long tube sock. We're going to be using that. You want it to be about this wide. A little shorter than social distance, but still something that works well for a couple of your stretches. As I mentioned earlier, you can, if you're seated, it can be anything cheap. Um, if it's a cozy, comfy recliner, you want to sit on the edge of it. You don't really want to sink back. Uh, and if it's a wheelie chair, be careful not to spin out. <laughs> Safety first. All right, and um, so then I also have a playlist. It's listed at the bottom here. Oh, check this out. I'm so good at streaming right there. So go to your Spotify. You can search for L-O-T-R Yoga, or you can type in that tiny URL, and it'll take you to the playlist. And you can play them randomly. I have them in order, but it goes up to an hour. So it's just some nice calming music, some songs, and brings you back, and we're going to have our ending meditation themed on Lord of the Rings as well. But you can do, again, anything that makes you comfortable. So we're going to be using some basics of yoga. If you don't know anything about yoga or are not familiar with it, it is all about finding your, your place of purpose. I've got my notes here for my yoga teacher training. So it's not necessarily religion, although it does tie into multiple religions, actually. And the idea is for you to find that peace and listen to yourself. While they do chanting and saying om and prayer looking poses, none of this is religious. However, if you are religious or if you do practice yoga, certainly bring those into your home. Your video is not on. Nobody's going to see you. Nobody's going to hear you. So do what works for you. In addition, this is for all abilities. This is an all abilities, safe, neutral way of doing yoga. So you can do it seated. You can do it moving. You can do it on the floor, whatever works for you. And again, don't go beyond where your body is today. You might have been able to do backflips yesterday, but maybe today is a little bit slower. I know it's cloudy here, so we're it's a little bit overcast, and sometimes it slows you down. Or maybe there's an injury, or maybe there's some reason that your body is less able today, and that's fine. Again, go back to your breathing or do modifications. I'll show you lots of options for each pose. So we're going to get started now that I spent quite a while describing what we're doing. We call this an easy seat. So you want to have your back straight and your knees bent. Your hands can be resting on your thighs, near your belly, up or down. We want to stay seated to start off with. So if you are laying down, get yourself up into a comfortable position. You can be on the ground cross-legged or on your knees, whatever works for you. And we're going to go through first some breathing and then some stretching. And then we're going to cool down and do a quiet meditation for the last few minutes. So first off, we're going to Sit with our palms facing up. When they're facing up, this is accepting energy. We have had a crazy month in March. And you also have had a crazy year, crazy multiple years. Right now, we want to take this time to absorb the energy from this gorgeous light that is shining down on us in the studio or at home just to find peace. 
If you're cross-legged, you can put your hands on your knees. Again, whatever's comfortable for you. Now we're going to focus on adjusting and figuring out where you, how you feel. So the idea is you don't necessarily have to change your breathing, but start to notice your breathing. How are you feeling? You can have your eyes open or closed. Maybe you're noticing that your weight is one way or the other. You can shift your body a little bit, find something comfortable. Feel if there's any tightness in your body. Notice if your breathing is fast or slow. If it's tight up in the chest. Or maybe you're nice and relaxed. If you are, congratulations. I hope this helps to get you even more going or like the schmooze. Just feel where you are. And if you have music going along, you can also focus on that. Take a few more breaths here, just to feel where you are. How are you breathing? Where are you right now? One more breath on your own before we start to subtly shift. Now we're going to start to feel where your body is in contact with the earth. So if you'd like, you can flip your hands and place them on your thighs. Or if you're sitting on the ground, you can place them on the ground. And this is the grounding portion where you're not connecting with the earth. Besides your hands touching wherever they are touching, facing down, feel what else is touching the earth, where your feet are touching, where your sits bones are touching. Feel those points of the earth and start to feel them root in like one of the great elven trees reaching down to draw energy from the earth which is coming back to life as all the humans are staying indoors feel the energy feel where you're rooted and connected and again feel if it's comfortable are your feet crampy maybe they haven't been used a lot maybe your sits bones are really sore from sitting in chairs i know i've been sitting a lot more recently if so just take note if your body's telling you you already have to move, feel free to do a couple shoulder rolls. Again, there's no wrong way of doing yoga. It's all what works for you. At this point, now we're going to draw and focus on our breathing. So at this point, if you haven't been, start to feel how the breathing moves your belly. Maybe you put a hand on your belly, a hand on your chest. One of the things we learned in yoga training, if you are not familiar with anatomy, there is a curved muscle here called the diaphragm. As you inhale, it goes down, and as you exhale, it goes up and it pushes the air out. So this is one of the ways that helps us breathe. Feel if your belly is going in and out. If it's not, try to focus on drawing in a belly breath. So really drawing the breath through your mouth or your nose, Exhale and expanding your belly, and then on the exhale, push it out. Inhale, expand. Exhale, push it out. Now you should not be rocking back and forth. It literally should just be in your belly. One way to help visualize this, I'll take you through. As you inhale, imagine that the air is liquid pouring into your lungs and it starts to fill up the bottom first. And then fills you as it goes up the chest and out. And on the exhale, you're pushing out from the top and slowly emptying everything out. Focus on filling up from the bottom up and exhaling from the top out. And if this doesn't work for you, just focus on your belly breath. Try to make each inhale and exhale about the same length. This can be difficult. If it's not what works for you right now, again, just focus on your breathing. Make yourself comfortable here. Again, pouring out your breath and taking in clean breaths here. Do a couple more on your own. If it feels good, you can also try pausing your breath on the exhale before you begin to breathe back in and pause on the inhale before you start to breathe out. In this way, 
you can find more balance. And it helps to build your lung capacity. I personally do have asthma and this has helped me to breathe better. Again, in this time, keeping up your lung fitness could help you with the illness as well. And even if it doesn't, it's good for breathing in general, for exercise. Running is another good way if you can move faster and focus on breathing when you're running. That can also help your lung capacity here. So a couple more breaths again, if you want. Breathing in and holding. Exhale and hold and breathe in and hold and exhale and hold. Whatever works for you. Now allow your breath to come back to that natural rhythm. See if anything has changed. Usually I'm breathing a lot deeper after this. And if you're not, that's okay too. Just come to an effortless rhythm that works for you nice and easy. And so in yoga, one of the things that they do is they set an intention. This is a way to focus the rest of your practice. So we are now exactly 10 minutes in. And I want to make the next half hour with you focus on something that it means something to you. In a intention, it can be a prayer. It can be something you want to focus on. It can be a mantra like, I am strong. I can get through this. It can be anything that you want. If you can't think of an intention that works for you, today we're going to focus on healing. As you felt through the grounding, we are going to focus on connecting back with ourselves and making sure that we're as healthy as we can be in this moment. It's not a great time, but you can find yourself in any moment and focus on the positives and take care of yourself. And that's why we're all here today. So again, thank you for joining me. This is fantastic. We're going to do one more breathing exercise together. This is going to be a warming breathing. And again, if it doesn't work for you, you can go back to the deep belly breathing, or you can just Focus and make a comfortable seat and just relax and listen along. So this is called warming breathing, also called ujjayi breath, which is a really exciting Sanskrit word. It just means that you are breathing in and on the exhale, you're going to make a constriction in the throat. It's almost like you're fogging up a mirror, like you're going, ah. and when you do that sound, you feel the throat constrict, except you're not going to have your mouth open as much. If you have to, that's fine too. The idea is to inhale it through the nose or the mouth, and on the exhale, you'll <sighs> kind of sounds like Lord Voldemort or a creepy wraith from the stories before. Every exhale, just <sighs> <laughs> it's hard to do with a mic, but it should sound like the ocean waves <sighs> crashing with each exhale. Deep inhale again to the belly. Your hands can be down. You can put them on the belly if that helps. Eyes can be open or closed. Take a few more breaths, trying to do this Ujjayi breath together. For additional challenge, you can try and do it with your mouth completely closed. This is, again, a way to build warmth and strength. In yoga, this is a way to do focus. If you're doing some really crazy hard poses, this can be a way to bring yourself together and kind of do like a, yeah! Except you're, you're just doing it with your breathing instead of shouting in the middle of yoga class, which, again, is less common. <laughs> some classes it can't be, though. So, again, there's no wrong way to do yoga. All right, so now that we've got our breathing, you can go back to normal. And we're going to start to do some spine stretches. So to begin, there is a stretch called a cat cow. This is where I'll, first I'll demonstrate it in a chair. Cat and cow is where you're sitting forward on the chair. For cat, you're going to arch your, your back like a black cat. And that's an exhale. On the inhale, you draw back and you arch your back the other way. Exhale into cat. Inhale into cow. As you do that on your own, notice how your pelvis will actually move. 
and it'll tilt depending on which way you're going. If you want to do this on the ground, you can go under your yoga mat in the same way. You're going to be on all fours. Your hands can be here or they can move up if that's uncomfortable. And again, you're going to exhale for cat. Inhale for cow. Exhale. And inhale. As you're doing this, focus on each of the vertebrae of your spine. Have you ever felt each one click and move? If it helps, you can focus again on that tailbone. Focus on actually just like wagging your tail as you're doing this. Each one. If you're doing this on the ground, this is when you can welcome some movement. Maybe you want to go one way or the other, look over side to side, wag your tail, whatever works for you. Again, exhaling as you're doing your cows. Uh, exhaling as you're doing cats and inhale as you're doing your cows. You guys are making me think here. If you're in your chair and you want to do some wiggles here, I recommend doing circles one way. Again, focusing on that slow breathing. And then whenever you do something in yoga, you go the opposite direction as well. If you want, you can start to do some shoulder shimmies. It's whatever feels good to you. Maybe you really want to do big circles. Or maybe keep them smaller. Again, listen to your body here. Come back to stillness. If you were do doing yoga on the mat, come back to a seat. Uh, it can be cross-legged. And if you're in your chair, you're good to go. We're going to do some twists. So a chair twist is just like you do in the office. You reach your hands up on the inhale. Exhale. You can grab your chair and start to twist. On the inhale, you can reach up. And on the exhale, maybe you twist a little more. Maybe you look over your shoulder if that's comfortable. If it's not, that's okay. And then when you're done with that, you raise your hands up and come back to center. If you're in your chair, that's when you raise your hands up and twist the other way, again on the exhale. And you can go back and forth between those. For those of you on your mats, you're sitting here, same thing. Hands go up, but instead of grabbing that chair, you're just putting your hands down. Maybe one is bent, maybe your hand is on your knee, or also on the mat. Look over your shoulder. And then inhale, reach them up, exhale, go to the other side. On each inhale, you can reach up a little more. And each exhale, you can push a little bit further. Again, find what works for you. And at your own rhythm, keep going back and forth, just like those folks in the gym are doing. And if it ever feels uncomfortable, just stop and come back to your breath. <sighs> Even this, I have to come back to my breath. Notice where the movement is originating your torso as you're doing this. You're spinning, but you're also moving that spine. All right, come back to stillness. Now we're going to start to do our neck stretches. So if you're seated, whichever way that is, be sure you're sitting straight up. Roll those shoulders back once. We're going to do shoulder rolls next. Don't worry. And you're going to turn your head slowly to the left. Hopefully I'm mirroring you. If not, just go one way. If this is comfortable, slowly go back to center. And exhale and twist the other way. Notice the way you're feeling like this. Inhale and bring it back to center. Now we're going to go back that other direction again, but you're tilting so your ear is trying to touch your shoulder. Breathe into it. Don't go any further than your body wants. If you want, you can take the hand that's on the same side you're leaning towards and lift it up. Gently place it on your head and you can do a little extra stretch here. In addition, you can move your nose. Point your nose up or point your nose down and feel ooh, where it's a little tight. Again, you're not pushing with your hand. You're just resting to give yourself a little stretch. That opposite hand can reach out the other way. And then you should feel a little stretch across your shoulders, too. Breathing into it here. This is one of my favorite stretches to do. And it's easy to do from your computer. Just take a break. Slowly take your hands back to where they should be. Raise your head up. Take a calming breath here. 
before we go the other way. So you're going to tilt your head the other direction here, reach into the shoulder. Maybe you take that same side arm up and place it on your head gently. Other hand can go out and reach as well. Pointing with the nose to feel where your neck is tight and needs to be held as a stretch. Breathing into it here. Feeling each side. All right. Gently taking your hands back. Now we all know what we want to do next. You want to do your neck roll, but do this gently. Don't do a full circle yet. Take your head down and roll one way. Exhale. Down. Inhale the other way. Just a half circle. Exhale down. Inhale up. A couple more times here. Make it as slow or as fast as you want, but remember to keep your breathing. All right. You come back to the center. This time, if you want, you can do a very slow circle all the way. Again, some necks are not made for you. Some days you cannot do this. Sometimes you'll hear creaking. Sometimes you just feel like you're total gumby, and that's fine. Go the other way. One slow circle. Slow, slow, slow. I feel like Bob Ross doing yoga. It's fantastic. Whatever works, you have your happy little trees. All right, if you need to do any more neck rolls or neck twists, do them now. I'm going to be right back. Okay. If you can believe it, we've been here for 20 minutes already, which is great because we have 20 more minutes together. Okay. So we've done our spine stretches. So we've done our twists. We've done our neck. Now I promise you shoulders. For shoulder rolls, we're going to take them slowly. So again, stay in that seated position. When you take your shoulders up, try and reach your ears, but just with your shoulders. And then let them go. And now squeeze them up and just let them flop. Do that a couple of times. It sounds weird, but it's a great way to get out stress. One more time. Squeeze and release. Maybe you need to do a little bit more shimmying. That's fine, too. Then take your shoulders forward. We're going to do a real row. So it's forward, up, back, and down. Make it a full square. Forward, up, back, and down. Really feel the movement of your shoulders if this works for you. If it doesn't, you can do side to side stretches or just come back to your breathing. And if we're down here, one interesting thing you'll notice as you're doing these shoulder rolls is that your hands will move when you're seated. They will usually not stay the same way as you're moving further back. All right, when you get to the next forward, pause. We're going to go backwards, so it's back, up, forward, and down. Back, up, forward, and down. Do that a few more times. All right, now I mentioned shoulders. You guys are doing fantastic, by the way. Thank you again for participating. Okay, we're gonna do some salutations and then we're gonna be using the belt. So if you don't have your belt handy, you can grab that. Come to stillness again, feel where you are at. This one you can do seated on the mat, seated or standing. So first I'll do it this way so you can see my so you can see my hands, the best way to do it is from here. All right, so we're sitting down. These are like similar to sun salutations. If it's in your practice and you want to do sun salutations, do them here. If you don't, that's fine. I'm going to walk you through. So you take your hands on the side, sitting up straight. On the inhale, raise your hands up all the way up until you're trying to grab that light. But what you're going to notice is you're reaching up. So now that we've worn up your shoulder blades, try and draw your shoulder blades down and back. Have you ever tried doing that before? Okay. This could be a little uncomfortable. If it is, again, you can just stay seated. Then draw your hands down into that yoga prayer pose. Mostly this is just to relax your shoulders. There's no meaning to this at all. 
then go back up. And then on the exhale, take your hands down like you're doing a little dance or a swan dive. If you want, you can kind of cross your hands in the back and make it really flowy. Inhale, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, and exhale down. Now keep doing this if you're seated. I'm just going to show other ways that you can be doing this. In the chair, same exact thing. Let's see, going up, down, up, down. Keeping those inhales and exhales. And if you're standing, same thing. If you're standing, your feet want to be about hips distance apart. Keep the weight evenly. Your knees should not be locked. If you want for an added bonus when you're going up, you can look up if your neck feels like it. And do like a little mini back bend at the top. If that doesn't feel good, don't do it. A couple more here. And now as we come back down, actually I'll stay here. So if you're standing, you can go to mountain pose, which is just feet, hips distance apart, arms are open, chest opener here. If you're seated, you can do that too. If you're cross-legged, you may or may not be able to just with your hands reaching. If so, you can ground your hands. Just like this. Now take your hands forward. Here we go. Like this. And you're going to raise your hands up. Like you're holding a ball and you're lifting it up. Excuse me. Alright. And when you're at the top, roll those shoulders down again. For exhale and going back down. Inhale up. Shoulders down. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Again here if you want, you can do a little back bend. Looking up. If it doesn't feel good, it's less comfortable for me. I'm not gonna do that. Again, if you want to here when you go up, ooh, you can do a side twist too. Up down, up, side, inhale up, down, inhale up, back to the side. Whatever works for you, I'll give you a couple seconds to do more of it. And I have a um, wonderful allergy attack right now, so apologies. All right. Shoulder stretches, okay. This is a fun one too. Come back to stillness. See how you're feeling now. Are you more loose, limber? It is now 428. So we've got about 10 more minutes of exercise. First we're gonna do some self care. I know that Forward Progress loves this one, so here you go guys. First we're gonna take our hands back up on the inhale. Exhale, broaden, and this is called cactus arms, like cactuar, I love it, it just makes me so happy whenever I do cactus arms. You might feel a weird stretch and it may be heavy, this is a move that a lot of people don't normally do, even if you're doing touchdown, it's like this, not like this, so cactus arms, right? Hold it and roll those shoulders back, you don't want your arms to go backwards, you want them to be parallel. And now... The reverse is to reach your hands out and then give yourself a hug. And try not to make the mic go too loud. Yeah, just a nice big hug. Inhale, open up. Exhale, hug with the other arm on top. Inhale up. Exhale, swap again. I'm hugging a little lower just to not beat up this poor little mic. Do it a couple more times. You can even curl your back and lean forward if that feels good to you. Whatever works. All right, a couple more. It just makes you want to do this stretch, right? You just feel the arms moving, you're waking them up. Your shoulders are ready to go. And if they're not, that's okay too. All right, one more. Okay, hands are forward again. Lace your fingers together, flip them out. This is a normal stretch we do. When you're sitting at your desk, it's perfect. You're just reaching out. 
Inhale, raise it up. Feel how your shoulders can do it. If they can't do this, it's okay. Stretch it up. So you're going up like this. Exhale. If this works for you. Now this is where we bring in the strap. If you have your strap, you can hold it close or you can hold it far away. It's going to give you a different stretch. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale. And exhale. Now this is tricky. And I'm not going to say that you can do it, but I feel if you can. It's something that many arms have never tried. <laughs> it's called flossing. Hands are now holding about a little wider, and you're going to feel if it wants to slip. So just hold it loosely between your arms. You can be standing. You can be seated. You can be up like this. I'm going to sit like this. You can just see the full movement here. Inhale up. Take a couple of breaths here. Now exhale and reach your arms back. Your, if your shoulders work correctly and they're not too stuck, you can actually keep going all the way back. And if it feels like you can, don't do it if it hurts. But if you can, and if your shoulders are able to do this today, give it a try. It's very different, but it does increase mobility. The closer your hands are together, the harder it will be. And I actually had a strained a tendon in this arm. And let me tell you, I didn't think I could do this, but there's no pain whatsoever today. So my body is very happy. Okay, if you can't do that, again, you're still reaching up and down. We'll come to stillness. Another thing we're going to do is take our strap in one hand, lift it above the head. And this is where you're going to do back stretch. So your other hand is grabbing it. And you pull down with the bottom hand. If you want to, and you're able to, this is where you can clasp your hands together. This is a little achy on that shoulder, so I will use my strap. Pulling down helps with the stretch, but it is not required. And again, if it doesn't work for you, just come back to your breathing. You don't even have to use that second hand. You can just sit here, that hand up. You can now also push down. Just push down, whatever works for you. And slowly come back up. Now you gotta do it on the other side. Take that strap up, reach back, grab it, pull down. Focus on your breathing here. I think you can clasp your hands if that works for you. Like this. Go like this. That one feels better for me. And you can also just push your arm, whatever works for you. And slowly release. Do a couple more shoulder shrug shrugs if that feels good for you. Ooh. Again, if you need to, remember to hydrate. Alright, one more stretch and then we're going to start to pull down. So this is going to be hips. We've done our arms and shoulders. For this one, you want to be seated. Um, actually, you don't have to be seated. We're going into pigeon for those of you that know what pigeon is. So if you're seated, first we'll do this. Take one leg and you cross it over. Focus here. That's all it is. Step one. And if you want to, you can just sit here. Maybe just push on that leg that's crossing over. Step two, lift up the ankle and do a wide cross. One, the ankle should be over the knee, Hand, other hand on the knee, and you push down on that knee, gently. You can also lean over if that feels good, it does not feel good to me. So I would sit here and just push down. This is a figure four or a modified crow. Option number two, if you're on your back, Knees are up, take one foot up, cross over here. Then from here, you can take your hands on the back of the thigh or the shin and pull it down a little. 
breathing into it. And if you want to do real pigeon, according to the yoga script, again, it's not the correct one, it's just another option. You take one foot forward and you wrap that ankle out towards the opposite wrist. So you've got an angle here. You make sure your hips are comfortable. Sometimes you need a block or a blanket underneath your bum. And you lift up straight. Modification number four, gently leaning forward over that extended leg. Coming to rest, hover. Whatever feels good for you. Remembering to breathe. Again, ever always come out of each one slowly. Once you're in your seat, or you're back on your back, or you're back on your belly, or wherever you want to be right now, put everybody the other way. Do any adjustments you need. Deep breath in and cross. Again, from seated, you can fold over and push gently. If that works for you. If you're on your back, do your figure four. And since I did one way down here, I'll do one way as well. I'll do it this direction. Show you guys on the other side. Foot forward, knee forward, ankle towards the opposite wrist. Adjusting. Should not be able to do this. It's difficult. Uh, and then slowly moving forward. Breathing again. And on your next inhale, start to come back up. If you want to, at this point, we can do some quick hip rolls, whether you're sitting or standing. Take one foot up, one leg up. Move that hip around the joint. Tell it it did a good job. Oh, yeah. And then the other way. Make sure you keep twisting both directions. All right. Okay, we've done our hips, and we have just under eight minutes. So we're going to go into relaxation now. So first we're going to do one more set of twists. Take your hands up if you're seated. Um, yeah, you do want to be seated for this. Behind your head. And you're just going to turn one way. And the next. Back to center. Exhale. And breathe in as you come to center. Exhale. And back to center. Now here, if it feels good, you can do a couple more reaching up. And do a couple more sun salutations. And you have a twist that you want to do. All right. We're good. Everything is fantastic. Hold on. Come back to your breathing here. If you need any last twists, do that now. If you want to lay down, this is where you can lay down the couch, the floor, the bed. If you're seated, come to an easy seat again. Any last twists that your body needs. We're going to focus now on coming back to your breath. How does it feel? These last five minutes. We're going to use what is called the Savasana. It's an absorption of benefits. Now that you've worked and relaxed, we're going to use the final few minutes Focus on your breathing. If you like, you can turn off the lights, close your eyes, get to a comfortable position. It's also called corpse pose, which is perfect after the previous panels we've had. The idea that you are now finished with this part of your life. And whatever we do after this, you're going to feel different. You may be more energized, maybe more mindful, or maybe you're bringing back to that attention of health and you will continue to focus on staying healthy. I wish you the best of health. 
sometimes in Savasana, the relaxation, there's a reading, and I'm going to share ours. This is, again, from Lord of the Rings, matching up with the song. And J.R.R. Tolkien gives an entrancing description of the Hobbit's search for health in Book 1 of Lord of the Rings, when they are fleeing along with Strider, their guide. They barely made it to the Elven Kingdom, and now they're in Rivendell. It was a dangerous, almost fatal journey. Things are not the same as they were before. They are not certain what comes next. Very similar to how we are now. They will soon have to go back into that danger, away from this place of peace. But in the meantime, in the book it says, For a while the hobbits continued to talk and think of the past journey and the perils that lay ahead. But such was the virtue of the land of Rivendell, that soon all fear and anxiety was lifted from their minds. The future, for good or for ill, was not forgotten, but it ceased to have any power over the present. Health and hope grew strong in them, and they were content with each good day as it came, taking pleasure in every meal and in every word and every song. You are in this place now, in your body. You are feeling that peace. Take a few slow breaths to savor this moment in silence. Your eyes can be open or closed. Find your place of peace. You want breaths. Any thoughts that come by, let them float away. Check your mind yourself, but they'll still be there when you're done. Give yourself just a few more seconds of peace. And focus on your feet. Slowly and gently begin to become aware again. First, moving your fingers or your toes, stretching the way that feels good, maybe rolling your ankles and your wrists. If you're seated, maybe shrug your shoulders and roll your neck. If you're laying down, maybe you a big body stretch like you're waking up. If you're seated, that feels good too. Oh, take a nice deep breath in. Uh, let it out. And as you're comfortable, if you're laying down, roll to your favorite side. Rest there for a couple of breaths. If you're seated, you can flutter your eyes open and gently gaze forward. The idea here is the rebirth, and that you are moving forward. And we have just spent 44 minutes together, and our time here, my friends, is done. So with that, now... Again, from my nice seated position, roll those shoulders back. We're going to take a big inhale, raising your hands up one more time. Exhale, drawing it in. And again, if this is not comfortable, keep your hands on your hips or your legs, whatever works for you. We're going to do one big inhale together. A really big exhale, let everything out. One more time together. I know that I've found relaxation and zen during the last 45 minutes. Thank you all so much for participating and enjoy the rest of Smooth Train. Until next time, take care everybody.